default button. Okay, for this um, YouTube video, uh, I'm going to be, I know that I said I would take a break, and <clears throat> I might, I, I am going to take a break after this one, because um, really, I need one. <coughs> um, I'm going to do this as quickly as I can, because I've got family coming over. VLC, VL play. Um, we're going to be going over how to rip a CD with XLD. So, and I have in the background going the Antioch Quartet, the album is with one accord, and you can get it. So, uh, without further ado, let me set my sound card to Soundflower, and away we'll go. Now, I got a comment that really helped me, and it said two words, get organized. So, I am. Now, let's just hope that nothing goes wrong. Um, all right. Select settings for the selected minimum setting sound input devices. One row selected. External micro select in output tab press. Sound output devices. One row selected. Headphones. Sound flower. 2CH. I love line in. It's a great VLC. Play. Okay, but. V three point one dot. We're going to be reviewing a XLD log text XLD, XLD and I had just finished reviewing or uh, ripping rather ACD. I'm not going to go through the menus um, because that'll take too much time. I went to the preferences. 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 Output <coughs> and format. I set general, output directory. <coughs> under general. Toolbar button. Toolbar. Excuse me. I don't know why I had this cough. Um, it's driving me absolutely up the wall, and I think you know this is one of the reasons why I need a break. because I'm literally losing my voice. <laughs> All right. Output format. Toolbar. So, output format. The output format. AIFF pop-up button. And for mine, it's AIFF, AIFF. Option button. Output directory. And my output directory, I set it every time. Same as input. So specify. No, no, sorry. Same as input. That's when I'm splitting queue files. Button two of two. Set button. Users have same music. Move to the destination format of file name. Default radio button one. Specify selected radio button. You want button. to check the specify. Percent a percent T percent ten percent T. Edit text contents. And um, I'll let voiceover spell that out so you guys can who cannot hear the punctuation or couldn't hear it can. Per percent. Um. Per percent. Ah. Percent a percent A. Percent A slash percent T slash. Artist slash title or whatever of album. Percent N space. It's track number. Percent T. Space. Percent title in per T. lowercase. Close. So let's begin. I just slipped my CD into the CD drive. I have XLD opening the CD automatically, and then it'll connect to the CD DB. Now this is the part that I can't organize because if my uh, connection doesn't work, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> Detect pre gap. Detecting right. pre gap. It's detecting the pre gap. And my CD drive sounds like someone is uh, blowing their nose, but that's okay. It's perfectly okay. I think it's um, it should be almost done by now. Sometimes it takes a while, <clears throat> and sometimes it does not. I can hear the drive's tracks um, spinning. Not spinning. I can hear the laser switching tracks, or however this drive thing works. Page Latina. One row okay. selected. Image. It's done. So what you see? Vertical splitter. Page Latina. Is the <clears throat> artist Chico Garcia no selection Chico Garcia guitar row I orchestra uh, and then the album no selection accurate rip sorry the album and then the artist from left to right the tracks no accurate rip is no. set to no now sometimes that 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 cannot be changed I don't know how XLD decides what's going to be an accurate rip and what isn't but the key here toolbar is the toolbar interact with toolbar Five items include pre-gap for all tracks extraction mode pop-up button I'm gonna leave that alone edit metadata button now, I could have it rip to a single image. Um, Include pre-gap for all tracks. Extraction mode. Pop-up button. Let's actually do that. Menu check mark. 
Save as a single file. Q. Save, Save as a single, single file. Q. Extraction mode. Pop AIF up button. File. Uh, I can always uh, change the outputs to FLAC, which I might actually do to save space. Edit metadata button. But I can do that later. Extract I'm not going to show how to do that, so let's hit extract. Press extract. Specify the output directory. Okay, new file. No and testing. And I'm going to put it under a folder on my desktop called testing. Hit enter. XLD busy. And I don't know if Waiting. you can hear Waiting for the drive, drive. XLD ready. spin, but you'll hear a progress bar, and you'll see a progress screen come up. Now, VoiceOver doesn't read this. VLC, XLD. And voiceover's being a pain. Patient Latina, extract, get metadata, extract, stop, verticals, progress. <sighs> that's why we're in the progress. Okay, so that's a little look at how to rip a CD with, v uh, with XLD. VLC. I hope that you guys v have enjoyed this. Um, System preferences. Comments are more than welcome. I do try and reply to most of them. Set output, so input tab, select a device for sound, sound output devices, one row selected. So, I hope that uh, you guys enjoy this, and uh, yeah, take care. Quick garage band, interact with dial. Do you want to save the changes? Save, default button, save, default button, save, VLC, press, save.